All right, welcome everyone. Today we're talking about how to play solo guitar for beginners to intermediate. If you know the C7, the F7, and the G7 chord, and the pentatonic scale, stay with me because this is not your basic pentatonic solo guitar lesson. We are gonna connect these chords to some small phrases, so let's play some solo guitar. I got you in close. So for most of us, when we hear the C7 or C7 blues, we think of the first position C minor pentatonic scale. We all know and love that scale. We really, one of the first scales that we learn is that. But we're gonna ch change this up a little bit. We're gonna use this anchor point in the eighth fret here instead of we're going to go back down to the posi fifth position pentatonic scale so eight six eight six eight five eight five eight six eight six Same notes. You could really have just a fresh set of ideas when you go to this other position here. We also have right under, under our fingertips here, we have the C major pentatonic scale. Also, with the, that anchor point is in the eighth fret here. So eight five, eight five, Seven five, seven five, seven five. Ended up in the eighth fret, that anchor point there. Minor pentatonic. So you don't have to know all these scales to play this solo. Let's connect some small phrases to each chord. So in the opening jam, first chord is a C, C7 or C9. Obviously that's all over the neck, but you start in this chord here, I just use a small phrase, just a piece of the C7 here. And the fifth fret, D string, fifth fret, B string. G note, E note. And as it comes up to the next chord, the F9 or F7. This is just a piece of that, the actual chord without using the root. So we're sliding up in the 7th fret to the A note, C note, 5th fret, G string, 7th fret, 8th fret. Good to connect these little phrases with the chord itself. So right here. This fits perfectly with the chord. And you don't even know it, but you're playing major minor pentatonic as you do that. And you don't even really even need to know that. You don't need to complicate it. So then it goes back to the C7. And just really landing on the root here. But still, the whole time I'm really thinking of this anchor point in the eighth fret here. 
Because you, at your, at your fingertips, you, you have the major and minor pentatonic right under your fingers there. So we, when I went to the G, I, I, I just used a small phrase right here. Then back to C. Let's put the groove on. Just showing you the phrases for each chord and it's and just keeping that pentatonic scale in mind is, is great but just having some phrases to go to for the C chord F chord Such a great phrase there, using a piece of the minor pentatonic, then going to major. You just half bending to that E flat note. Just having those scales under your fingers, and every position has this. I'm just showing you one part of the neck where this works really well. And just starting a solo sometimes, just, just using a piece of the chord, sliding up to the chord. It's getting a little more complicated but it's still the same notes playing over those chords so really to wrap this up take the chord and a phrase just really simply like that and you can always go back to your pentatonic licks Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm just going to finish the video by uh, just playing out with this uh, solo ideas.